It has been six weeks since baby Lisa Irwin disappeared, and tonight her parents are back in the family home for the first time since their daughter vanished from her crib. Chris Hernandez is there live with how the family is trying to move forward. Chris? Now the family's attorney says it was a difficult and emotional decision to come back, but that they decided it was time to move back home. It was around noon when Deborah Bradley and Jeremy Irwin returned to the house here on North Lister Drive. Their house is still covered with banners and balloons, and their daughter is still missing. But the family lawyer says they still have two other children to think about. A longing for a sense of normality to the degree they can give it to their two young boys. I mean, that's what really this was about today. It's very hard for them, um, both of them, to be in that house, obviously, without Lisa. Um, but, you know, they also have uh, six and eight-year-old uh, sons that really have to be considered here and, and to put them back into a... Now, Takapino says that once they walked in the house and Deborah Bradley saw Lisa's bedroom, that she broke down, started crying, but that she was looking in the room as if she was hoping for a miracle and that the baby would be there. Reporting live in the Northland, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.